Good evening, everyone. I'm Larry Kudlow. This is the Kudlow Report. So the blame game over the fiscal cliff grew a bit louder today, with the president playing the part of the anti-Santa, going so far as to say he's keeping a list of congressmen. Well, that sounds like an enemy's list to me. We're going to talk some more about that. And the president also saying if the Republicans can't compromise, the holiday season might be an unhappy one. That's sort of like the, the lump of coal you get for Christmas. That's a Scrooge Christmas. All right, and the Republicans, they say that the Democratic offer is not a serious one. Check it out. No, well, there's a stalemate. Well, let's not kid ourselves. So, where do we go from here? And the business world itself is waiting to see if we drive off the cliff. They're taking action right away. Deals are being done to sell companies, stocks, homes, dividends, almost anything to avoid a big tax wallop after the first of the year. So you see, folks, as I've said for so long, taxes do matter. And later on, we're going to show you exactly why. But first up, the president plays Santa Claus. The White House press secretary finds spending cuts deeply irresponsible. For all this and more, joining us now is Katie Pavlich. She's a new, uh, news editor for Town Hall. Dot com. Katie, welcome back. Why does this Jay Carney taking a whack at, uh, at uh, Speaker John Boehner? What Boehner's always said, a dollar of debt increase, a dollar spending cuts. Why right. would Carney want to alienate Boehner with that cheap shot? Well, because President Obama, who Jay Carney represents, of course, during his daily press briefings at the White House, wants an unlimited debt, debt limit. Uh, he d wants no uh, debt ceiling on the amount of money that he can spend. And so Jay Carney is taking shots on jo at John Boehner, who has said, look, it's not a serious discussion about how we're going to solve the fiscal problem unless, of course, we match spending cuts to the number of dollars we increase in the debt limit. You think that could pass Congress in all seriousness? No more debt limit, no, no. more power of the purse <laughs> no. strings. I mean, that's insane. I think it's yeah. in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and although that President Obama thinks because he got reelected, he has a mandate to do whatever he wants, he forgets that the House Republicans were, were also reelected to kind of hold the line on spending. So, um, no, I don't believe that would make it through Congress. What about this um, utterance by the president today? It, sort of blasting Congress, sort of saying he's keeping a list of congressmen. Is this like a Nixonian enemies list? You know, Katie, we've seen this before from President mm -hmm. Obama. We have. We've seen multiple versions of the, quote, Obama's enemies list. We saw the truth team. We've seen the White House work directly with the media matters to smear certain people that they don't like. And now we're seeing President Obama say he has a naughty and nice list. And in order to make the nice list, you have to push through his $1.6 trillion tax increase. So I, I think there'll be a lot of Democrats who are actually making the naughty list this year. You know, if he had actually come out with a program that had some spending cuts and some entitlement cuts instead of all tax increases, Katie, maybe he'd be having better luck right now. Well, of course, and that's one thing that I think he's forgetting is that his own Senate Democrats aren't even interested in passing what he's offering now for the fiscal cliff. They didn't do it when he put it into his budget, and they're not going to do it now. So like uh, John Boehner said today, we're at a stalemate, and we're not really moving forward, as President Obama would hope. All right. Many thanks, Katie Pavlich. Appreciate the rundown.